Welcome back to Studio 701. It's the second Friday of the month, which means... It's time for a Crosstown Brewdown. Now, four local brewers are challenged to brew the same style of beer, but give it their own unique style. We catch up with all four to see how they make a... Grisette. I'm here with Jordan from Bismarck Brewing. Jordan, how's it going today? Not too bad. How about yourself? I'm doing all right, man. Thank you. So, you chose a grisette for the Crosstown Brewdown. Can you kind of tell us why you chose the grisette? So, a grisette's a beer I've always wanted to make, and I uh, wasn't sure we would make a full batch of it, but this is the perfect outlet for it to make 10 gallons. You know, it doesn't work out well. It's not really a total loss for us. So, a grisette's a French table saison, and... It was what you'd pay your farmhands with back in the Middle Ages when they'd travel from farm to farm and harvest for you. They'd pay you in food and beer, essentially. So what type of flavor profiles should somebody expect from a Gazette? Ours specifically would be a French saison. So it's going to be dry, black pepper, spicy. But the history and the nature of a Gazette being that, you know, each farm would have their own version based on what they had available, what they were growing and harvesting to brew with. Everyone would be different. And so, you know, it goes from farm to farm everyone has a different beer and that's kind of where it dovetails nicely into our crosstown brew down as each of our breweries like a little farm so well jordan thanks again for telling us about your grisette we really appreciate it we look forward to seeing you on crosstown brew down we're going to head down to gideon's and see what he's got going down there we're here with woody at gideon's brewery woody how's it going man going pretty good yourself i'm doing all right so we've got the crosstown brew down and you've got a grisette. Yep. And why don't you tell us about the name, maybe the base. What's going on with this beer here? So this is a, the Clark W. Grisette. Yeah. That you just uh, named today, right? We just named, actually, yeah. Jeff, Jeff helped come up with the name. <laughs> so it's supposed to be an easy drinking beer, so we, okay. we wanted to get some, some nice citrus notes in there. So we have the Ad, uh, Amarillo hop and the Azaka hop. That should really bring out some orangey, citrusy uh, notes in that. Just an overall easy drinking beer. But you can enjoy that during the summer or during the, the fall months as well. How long did it take for you to get this together? Um, so it took a few hours. First, I started off with finding out a little bit about the beer's history or the style's history. I didn't know anything about this when we, when we set off to start brewing this. Um, so once I kind of knew a little bit more about it, what the characteristics is supposed to be like, um, then it just starts off with starting to build your grain, how sweet do you want it, what the ABV is going to be, how we're going to get some tart notes to come through and then building up your 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 hot profile so yeah a few hours into that and, and off to the races so what am i going to taste am i going to taste oranges and well you're probably going to taste a, a boatload of happiness <laughs> and good feel. Uh, i think that's, that's what i tasted when i tasted that whole lot of love that's what it ELD, yeah. baby so what do you thanks for everything you're doing for the community providing great beer providing for the kids we really appreciate it let's toss it over to amber and ted Here we are at Buffalo Commons, Ted Hoffman. Thank you so much for letting us be here. Yeah, thanks for coming. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the assignment you got from Jordan, which is a Crisette. Crisette, yes. Hopefully I'm saying that right. What was your reaction when that was what you were assigned? Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> I, seriously, I, I think I had heard of it before, but it never, I've never actually tried one. So I had to do some research to figure out which direction I needed to go. So what have been the challenges of making this and what has been kind of easier or fun about it? It's just such a different style of beer from anything that I've done before that it, you know, I, I read about it a lot more than I spent time brewing it, trying to hopefully hit it right. What is your desired effect? What are you hoping that it tastes like? Well, I'm hoping it comes across as, it, it's supposed to come across as a really light and refreshing beer, very approachable. It should be something that everybody will, I shouldn't say everybody will like, but it's not, uh, not a way out there beer style by any means. All right, let's see what they're brewing up over at Dialectic. We are here at Dialectic with Dylan. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. Okay, this Crosstown Brewdown, Jordan said, make a grisette. Grisette. Grisette, yep. What was your reaction to that? 
Um, so I was familiar with the style. Um, it is kind of um, within the same family as a Saison, which is one of my personal favorite styles. It's a very historic style, and I have a soft spot for historic beers. So I was pretty excited to get a chance to brew a grisette. I hadn't brewed one of those before, so just expanding my horizons a little bit. So what are you doing to your grisette to make it stand out? So ours is actually going to be um, a rhubarb grisette. Um, traditionally, the grisette does have a little bit of a tart bite to it. I didn't want to mess around with much kettle souring, and I've brewed um, rhubarb saisons before, so I thought the rhubarb would go really well with the grisette. So just got fruit added today, so hoping to have it all ready to roll for the weekend. But. Oh, so excited. <laughs> so in the process, um, the last step is to keg it, right? Yep. Okay, and you're hoping to do that the day before it's released? Normally, I like to be a little bit more ahead of time, um, but I always have the option to flash carb it, hook it up to really high pressure CO2 and get it flash carbed and ready for the next day to serve, so. All right, thank you so much, Dylan. Yeah, thank you. Now, a big part of the reason they're doing what they do is because a portion of proceeds goes to the United Way Backpack Program, which provides food to students who can't afford it in our community. Now, 50% of all sales are directly donated to the United Way Backpack Program, so make sure you check out the Crosstown Brewdown at Bismarck Brewing, Gideon's, Buffalo Commons, and Dialectic Brewing. You can choose who made the best grisette. And see the